everybody it's Victoria Marie back with another process video and this video is called polar fay and I recently got a t-shirt and I can't remember where I got the t-shirt from but it says polar fay 2016 bitches get stuff done and those of you who are familiar um, Amy Polar and Tina Fay um, are both Saturday night alum and of course comedic actresses and executive producers and writers and they're just amazing and they are are just hysterical. I absolutely, absolutely love them. They're some of my favorite celebrities. And um, they just seem really cool to hang out with. I think if I was gonna hang out with anybody, it would be them. <laughs> so I got this t-shirt and I thought, oh, this is perfect. I gotta get it, I gotta totally get it. And so I did, and I decided to have my mom take a picture of me so I could scrapbook it. <laughs> it's gonna go in my Victoria album. So what I'm using is the iLift kit from Scraptastic. And what I did was I took the exclusive um, Scraptastic paper, which is the red paper. And then I put on that red paper a piece of gray cardstock from Recollections. And I took my scoreboard and I scored the paper to kind of give it that quilty look. I was not quite sure what I wanted to do with this layout. So I spent quite a bit of time fooling around with various different elements, but ultimately this is what it came out to be. And it looks eerily like a layout I've done before, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So I took a project or a pocketed scrapbooking card that comes with the kit, and that's exclusive to the kit. That red paper is also exclusive to the kit as well. And at first I thought I was gonna journal on that card, and I put a, um, a tab on the card, a yellow tab, and I decided not to do that. So um, I just decided to use it as an embellishment. So I created kind of a small layered cluster there, and those colors just go together so well. I think I've mentioned this before, but I didn't like this kit when I first got it, but now I do. And it just worked perfectly with the colors in the t-shirt and all of that. So those stickers that you see me putting on the page and the banners and all of that, that comes, well, actually the stickers, not the banners at the top. The stickers are from Oh Snap. And then the banners I cut from a piece of cardstock that came with the kit, like pattern paper. Then there was this die cut that said enjoy. So I just decided to cut that out with one of my, um, oh, what do you call it? Punches. And I decided that I needed something at the top to add another pattern. So I grabbed a scrap from that same collection. And I think that stripe pattern paper is exclusive to the kit. If I can't quite remember. So I just added that to the top for interest. You can also see I added a tab that says Sunday. That's actually a sticker that comes from a Pebble sticker collection that we got with the kit. Then I punched out a circle to house that sort of scallop circle that says enjoy. And I'm trying to figure out how to embellish that top and I got tired of the banner so I took those off. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that circle die cut at the top. Cause I do enjoy this shirt a lot. <laughs> Then I'm thinking I'm gonna do some clustering there at the top. I add some arrows that are also from the OSTAP collection and I'm not quite sure. So I'm just gonna hang out with that for a minute and then work on my title. So I take some mini alphas or mini market alphas um, from October afternoon. The white background with the red lettering is called cream and red <laughs> appropriately. And then the red ones are called peppermint. I'm gonna add some enamel dots for a little bit of interest and more texture. And of course you see me remove some of those things at the top because I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna do with that. And I'm positioning um, another sticker. I really kind of struggled trying to decide what I was gonna do with this layout because at first it was gonna be a mixed media layout and that just turned out to be a complete disaster. And so I said, no, let me just do something simple because I really want the focus to be on that awesome t-shirt that I bought. <laughs> So I journal about how much I love the t-shirt and how much I love Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, which I do. Then I decide to add that wood veneer emoticon, which came with the kit, to the bottom. I was gonna put an enamel, an enamel dot over its eye, but that just looked freaky. <laughs> so I took that off. And so I repositioned some enamel dots and I believe those are from my mind's eye. And I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hang out with that. For, for some reason, I have to cluster enamel dots three to a cluster. I can't seem to spread them out. They just, it looks awkward to me. But other people can do it. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my deal is. So I just stick with what's comfortable with me. So I take some more of those stickers. I'm really trying to use these stickers up because you get like 10 gajillion sheets that <laughs> in the sticker pack. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out what kind of word that I can put there. And of course, I find the word epic. Then I'm gonna 
So I go ahead and put that on the photo. And then I also add some sticker arrows on there so I can draw some attention. I was going to put it at the bottom, but I'm like, I don't want it pointing to my stomach. I mean, <laughs> of any part of my body, I don't want it pointing to my stomach. And then I didn't want it there either because I didn't want it pointing to my boob. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it there at the bottom by the emoticon, the wood veneer emoticon. <laughs> I don't need to draw attention to, unnecessarily <laughs> to certain parts of my body. <laughs> Okie dokie. So at this point, I'm trying to decide, am I done with this? I don't know, see I'm tapping my hand. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that's the universal sign of me thinking. Then I add the date as I'm still trying to figure out if there's anything else I wanna to add to this layout. And then I decide, oh yes, I wanna add some stitching, faux stitching. And I was too lazy to actually you know, get my sewing machine. I have a so many and that thing is temperamental. So I didn't feel like it. So I go ahead and I'm going to do some faux stitching. And this is a great way to add some texture and interest to your pages. And I use a white jelly roll pen for that, one of my favorite white pens. Then I'm going to kind of reinforce that tab a bit because it was popping up. I'm gonna add a clip for a little bit more texture and interest and that's from my stash. And then I'm getting ready to pull out my wood veneers. As you can see, I'm kind of wood veneer crazy. <laughs> that's just half of the stash, I'm sad. So I decided to put the two ladies up there to kind of represent um, Amy and Tina, and I decided, now that's kind of weird. So um, I'm going to add some of these really cool stars that I love. And I think these are from American Crafts, these wood stars. I'm gonna pop that up there, and I thought that just kind of went well with that. I'm gonna move that clip around a little bit more. That came with the kit. And I'm gonna slow things down and show you the layout. I love doing eight and a half by 11 layouts, because usually when I just wanna focus on one photo and the picture and the story behind it, this, this works for me. And I really love how I scored the background paper and that added a lot of texture to the layout. So some photos are coming up. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time.